Hey everybody, Mama Nature here, and today I've got my mama, and we're going to make Hungarian kiflis. Yeah, so this is an old traditional recipe that oh, the yes. ladies from the old church from, used to make. From the old country used to make. From the old country from used Hungary. to make. Yeah. And they're so good, you're going to love them. Stay yes. tuned. Mama Nature here. This is my grandmother's recipe and she was born and raised in Hungary. First we're going to put half a pound of butter and get rid of that and we're going to put half a pound of cream cheese okay and then we're going to turn this on and we're going to let this beat it up for oh until we can see they're both blended. all soft and mixed very thoroughly. Okay, I'm going to add half a cup of flour at a time. Let it get mixed in there good. All together we're going to need two cups of flour. When half of the flour is, is mixed thoroughly, that's when I add the egg yolk. And I let that mix in because it makes it easier to add the next cup of flour. Now if you'll notice, you can see the texture, it's much looser now. Okay, I'm going to add another half cup flour. I'm going to let that mix in. Okay, and then I'm going to add a tablespoon of vegetable oil or olive oil. And again, what this does is it loosens up the dough enough so that you can put in the last of the flour. Okay, and here's the last of the flour. And I just dump it in, let the mixer do all the work for me. All right, now I've got to check and make sure that it's the right consistency. So I'm going to turn off my mixer. I'm going to lower the bowl so I can see what it's like here. Now, let me see. It's a little... No, this might be just right. This came out just right. You want it to be just a little sticky without sticking to your hands. And like I said, you want the dough to be sticky, but it didn't stick to my hands. This is a very important part because you want the dough to be just like this. If it's too sticky, you're going to have to add a little bit more flour. And sometimes, depending where you live in the country, your temperature will dictate that. Okay, but as you can see, it's not sticking to my hands, but it is sticky. Yesterday we prepared the, uh, the dough for Hungarian kiflis. Today we'll tell you what they are and finish making them. There you go, beautiful. You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna use a chopper, but anything that you have that will grind up the nuts will work. I'm just gonna put all the nuts in here. It's half a pound of nuts. To a half a cup of sugar. And then we're gonna use just enough milk to make it the right consistency. Ooh, that works quick. That's what we want. I have to look at it to see if what the texture is. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but see, it's almost cream. <laughs> right. There's going to be some chunks of the nut, but for the most part, it's powdery. 
Okay, you can almost see it's starting, it's almost starting to stick together on its own. But now we're gonna add the sugar and we just mix it in. Obviously that's to give it some sweet. Okay, well once you have the nuts and the sugar mixed completely, then you want to make the texture in such a way that it will almost hold together. So we're going to add a little bit of milk. And I stress do a little at a time. As if it gets too watered down, it's going to be terrible to work with. Was good. Now I'm going to take a spoon just to check and see what the consistency is. Is what you're going to do is you're going to put this into the cookie dough and you want it to, to stick together enough to be able to use it. Okay, I've taken one of the doughs out of the oven, out of the refrigerator and uh, I'm just going to work with it a little bit to warm it up a little because right now it's really hard. You might as well take the other doughs out. You're going to roll out your dough till it's about an eighth of an inch thick. Try to feel it all over so that you know that it's, it's all the same, okay? If you have any problems, just roll a little bit. Just don't be too heavy with it, that's all. Okay, now we're ready for the next step and Bonnie's going to take over for that. Okay, so I'm the cutter. Yes. You've always done it better than me. I'm not sure exactly why that is. <laughs> but hers seemed to come out very uniform, just like my mama's. Oh my gosh, no pressure. I hope I can do it. <laughs> now you can see we're just using a regular pizza cutter. They yeah. actually make tools to do exactly what she's doing, but a pizza cutter works just fine. Oh man. <laughs> I'm already making a mess of it. Shoot! Oh. But see, this is part of the fun. <laughs> yes. yes, this is. Uh, yeah, that's still going to be okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll make it work. We always make it work. Okay. You know. Like that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what I've pretty much done is I made a bunch of diamonds, but they're not exactly. Well, you're going to have to <laughs> slice across and make them diamonds. And now I'm going to go from corner to corner. If you want. You can start. Right, I'm going to get a cookie sheet. I think this one will be fine. Put this down here so we'll, we'll be able to work on it. There you go. And you want either a silicone mat or parchment paper because you don't want to worry about cleaning up your pans later. So you see I'm going corner to corner. So that we wind up with triangles because these are going to be, we're going to roll the fillings up in the triangles. And you saw us make the nuts and we're going to also be making these with some blueberry preserves. preserves. Yeah, these look pretty good. All right, we're going to start rolling walnut cookies. There we go. All right. I find that if I keep my fingers floured, I don't wind up making a big mess of myself. Hmm. And you can see they're not all the same. And we're just gonna do the best <laughs> we can do. All right. A little bit of the nut filling on the spoon. Tuck it into the dough. And the the uh, dough is soft enough now that you can really work with it. You can stretch it if you need to. I mean, obviously you have to be careful, but you can pretty much move it around however you need it. There you go. And these can be put right on top of each other on the pan. They're not yeah. going to grow or anything. The pastry, however, will puff and it'll be a nice golden brown. And, uh, oh, just perfection. Perfection. Mm -hmm. Now, 
Walmarts are my absolute favorite. But of course the kitties like the fruit fillings. Isn't that funny? When I was a kid, I don't think I cared much for the nut ones. I always went for the apricot. Or the lek bar. Or the lek bar. If which you're is... fortunate enough to live somewhere where they sell, I think it's called Simon Preserves, possibly. But the uh, lek bar, it's prune butter. And they also make an apricot butter. Those can be used right from the jar. Yeah, no cornstarch required. Right. No extra. Required. No extra work. So there's going to be little bitties <laughs> and great bigs. <laughs> but that's the beauty of homemade. Yeah. yeah. And the little bitties, honest to goodness, they're the testers. When they come out of the oven, these are the ones that we just grab and pop right into our mouths. <laughs> they all disappear so fast. It, that's true. There you go. They're pretty little packages. <laughs> and somehow, don't ask me how, but my mother and my grandmother were able to make these so they were all the same size. I've never quite figured that one out. <laughs> and it well, doesn't make any difference. <laughs> but they, they probably had their own mothers breathing over their shoulders saying, hey, you gotta get it right. <laughs> well, that's possible. Perfection. <laughs> it's possible. Blueberry jam tester right there, okay. Okay. Well, oh, you're going to put it right in the middle? You're I'm going to put it in the middle. I <laughs> am. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put a couple of them. That one might have too much in it, so I'm going to put one that is a little bit less. All right. Let's see. The first time you do this, it's probably going to seem very awkward. But after you've done it a couple of times, it just becomes great. All right, the first batch is ready to come out of the oven. Oh boy, they look beautiful. Oh, it looks like the blueberries stayed on the... Yeah. And what you're looking looks for good. is you want a little bit of brown on the pastry. Not a lot, you don't want them overcooked, but just a little bit of brown. Perfect. All right, you're really not gonna like these because they're terrible. Oh, I'm sure you're right. Mm. <laughs> They're very good. And they still need one more thing. Final touch to these little masterpieces is just a touch of powdered sugar. It makes them pretty and it gives just a little extra flavor. And don't they look pretty? There you go. All right, I want to try one too. Me too, me too. Well, I have to try one of the blueberry because I've never done blueberry before. All right, I'm gonna get a little bitty one. Okay. Try the walnut ones because okay. yum. Oh yeah. Mm. Excellent. Mm. Happy dance. Mm -hmm. Yep. Happy dance. Happy dance. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> wait, wait. I have to try blueberry too. Mm hmm. The blueberries kind of ran out the side a little bit. Not but much. they didn't run enough that we wouldn't do it again. So there you go. <laughs> yep. Mm. Mm. Mm, they're good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They're very good. We did good. We did good. And Thank you done. so much Thank for you. watching. Bye-bye. If you liked it, please like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, come blow them a kiss. Mwah. Mwah. Mama loves you. Bye now. Bye. <laughs>